The Crazy Bowl closed its doors last week after a decade of being a popular downtown Macon bar and concert venue. Owner Rick Hill passed away last July. Jessica Cha spoke to folks about how he helped grow downtown. Ten years ago, the building at 473 2nd Street was in shambles. It was the first building where I fell through the floor. It was one of the worst buildings I've ever seen. Abandoned for decades, Josh Rogers, Newtown Macon's president, said it seemed beyond repair. Uh, when I was at Historic Macon Foundation, we sold it for one dollar to uh, Ricky Hill. Rogers says Hill, an established business owner, took a chance. Maybe a week after we closed, I showed up and he was in the basement with the track hoe himself, digging out all the uh, trash and stabilizing the building. I've never seen anybody do what he did. Hill bought it in 2011 and by 2013, the Crazy Bull opened. Yeah, they needed people like Rick Hill. Richard Dwayne Brown says Hill and his business took a chance on Macon's people. People with money would come through him. They would look at the city of Macon and say, hey, this is a ground for investment. He brought a lot of attraction to Macon, Georgia. He gave a lot of op uh, opportunity to, to other country artists. Brown, a Macon artist, says he met Hill when the bull first opened. He was just a cool guy. You know, he was laid back to lunch and, you know, he passed away and it kind of, it hit me. And I was like, nah, Rick gone. Kim Hill, Rick's wife, says he died in July last year. I make it would he miss Rick, you know. Roger says Hill and the Crazy Bull were involved in many downtown events, helping the scene grow. Always going to be really deeply grateful to Rick. As much as this is a, uh, a loss, it will also be an opportunity for somebody else. So I expect the building will be reoccupied uh, pretty quickly. He's hoping somebody else gives the space a chance, like Hill. In Macon, Jessica Cha, 13 WMAZ News. In a statement, Hill's wife Kim said that the last 15 months without Rick have, quote, been incredibly hard. She says the decision to close the bar was difficult, but for the best.